Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope all is good in your world, and I hope you're getting ready for a wonderful Thanksgiving coming up. Now, if you saw the video I posted about the Spider XL Takedown Recurve by Southwest Archery, uh, I reviewed that bow, and I'll tell you, I really like it. Uh, the shootability of that bow is just phenomenal. And again, I, I can't say enough good about Southwest Archery products. But the comments that I got regarding the bow were more along the lines of, can you swap the limbs from your Ghost Takedown Longbow by Southwest Archery and put those on the Spider XL and vice versa? And I thought, yeah, of course you can, because Southwest Archery's website states that clearly that you can uh, put whatever limb configuration you want on their individual risers. But I wanted to look at these risers with the limbs off, uh, go through a little bit with you the similarities and, you know, kind of what stands out as different on each riser. Uh, they're both great risers in, in their own respect, but again, I'm going to do a limb swap in this video and we're going to test the performance of it and see how each one shoots. Uh, I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. So let's zoom down to the table. Let's take a look at the risers. Let's talk about those a little bit. Then let's get the limbs on them and go out and take some shots. All right, so here are the risers, the Spider XL and the Ghost Takedown Longbow. Both of these are laminated wood risers. Uh, they are very nice in their design. The Spider XL is a combination of white oak diamond wood and paddock. I never can pronounce that correctly. Uh, the Ghost Takedown Bow riser is made of white oak and diamond wood as well. This, both of these risers are very nice. Now, there is a little bit of a weight difference between the two, not much. Um, I think if I put these on a scale, you're probably gonna be off just a, I mean, just a little uh, between one or the other. But again, both of them are very comfortable to shoot, uh, lightweight, and even with the limbs on, you don't get a lot of fatigue uh, after shooting these for a long time. The, the thing I think with the Ghost Riser is it stands out in this grip area right here. Just the contouring that they did with this and just the, the work and the detail that they put into this makes this bow a pure joy to shoot. And I have, you know, again, since I, I upgraded to this one from my Samix Sage, the difference in the way the grip feels is night and day. Uh, you know, the Sage is a little bit blocky and a little bit chunky. Uh, this is a lot more comfortable to shoot. Now, the Spider XL, while it does have some of the same um, same detailing in the grip area here. It's not as refined as say the Ghost Riser, but again, this one fits nice in the hand as well too. Uh, again, not heavy and it does, you know, allow you to shoot for long periods of time without a lot of fatigue. Now, this is an upgrade technically from the Samix Sage and I think it's a well-received and much needed upgrade because they did do a lot of contour work on this riser and really took a lot of that chunk and bulk out of it, uh, making it just a pure joy to shoot. Now, let's take some measurements on these and just see uh, how they compare to each other. We wanna look at the overall length of the riser. The, for the Ghost Bow, we are looking at 19 and one quarter inch. And for the Spider XL, we are 19 and three eighths. So again, the risers are about the same, just off with like an eighth of an inch. So nothing, nothing too worrisome there. Where we're gonna get fitment issues, if there are any fitment issues, are gonna be here in the limb pockets. So let's take some measurements on those and you can tell just by eyeballing them, they look pretty much the same, but let's look at them under a ruler. Let's see, so you are an inch and five eighths and an inch and five eighths in width. And if we're gonna measure from the, looks like three inches and for the Spider XL, three inches. So there shouldn't be any fitment issue with the limbs. We're gonna get those on here in just a little while. Now both risers do have they are drilled and they do have inserts so you can add sights, you can add plunger button, you can add a stabilizer. And yes, somebody asked me before, can you add a bow fishing reel to this setup? Yes, you can. Uh, I've seen them advertised on the Southwest Archer website, but you can pick those up anywhere. So yes, that will accept a bow fishing setup. The, the shelf, really th just a small radius on both of them. You know, nothing as crazy as like the, it's on the, the Black Hunter that I reviewed. 
Um, the other thing too, if you notice on the ghost takedown bow, I hope you can see that, is these are drilled all the way through and then the inserts are in there for the limb bolts and the Spider XL, of course, stops somewhere mid inside the riser there. They're both very nice risers, both very comfortable to shoot. I do think the Ghost stands out just in looks and overall uh, feel when it comes to these. And, and I think, again, I, I enjoy shooting them both. I, I have no problem with either one of them. And Southwest Archery is really putting out some good products. So next up on the list, let's go ahead and get the limbs attached. Let's get them strung up and let's check them out. Now, both of these are a 64 AMO, so I'm not sure that there's going to be any like uh, brace height difference. There may be because we're going, you know, to a different limb configuration. So I may have to do a little setup on that to make them shoot right. But other than that, uh, there shouldn't be any issues with the string. I should be able to use the string from each bow's uh, respective limbs. All right, first up, we're going to put the longbow limbs on the XL riser. Now with the Southwest Archery limbs, the riding does go on the bottom part of the riser. So let's go ahead and get this one installed. And I'm hoping there's not going to be any string um, issues. But again, I'm really curious how these are going to shoot. Let's get the top limb on. And there we go. That is a direct fit. No issues, no moving around. Everything is solid. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a definitely a different look for this bow. Make sure this is on the bottom. Direct fit, no moving around, everything is solid in there. I really need to put some uh, material between the limb and the limb pocket. It may help with being quiet. Both of these bows shoot pretty quiet though. Uh, so I'm, I'm not really going to be too concerned about that. The one thing with the Ghost takedown bow, it does not come with these style bolts. I had to actually purchase some of those to use with this. Again, it's just an aesthetic thing. Some people like it and I get the convenience of having them. Uh, myself, personally, I just like the ones with the Allen key. So. There we go. That thing looks good. I like the way that looks with those recurved limbs on there. Again, no fitment issues. It fit right in the limb pockets. It's secure. It's solid. Um, now we got to do is get them strung up and see how they perform with different limbs. So that's right at eight and three quarter. I think that's about the max for these. I'm gonna, I might bring that down a little bit, but look at this. Very nice. This does definitely change the the look of this of this bow altogether with the longbow limbs on it. And I think it complements this riser. I think it looks really nice. So let's get the let's get the ghost strung up first here. Man, this thing looks phenomenal with those recurve limbs on it. <laughs> I can't get over how well this thing looks. I hope it shoots as good. Let's check the brace height on this. I may have to do some adjustments. Pretty sure I'm going to have to, but yeah, see so that's coming in right at seven and three quarter. I'm going to bump it up to eight and then I will get the, I think eight's a good happy medium just to test this out with. I may have to do some fine tuning on it if I decide to keep it like this, which I don't know by the way this thing looks, I may just leave this thing set up the way it is. Okay. So first up we'll be shooting the Spider XL with the new longbow limbs on it. I do like this look. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Let's just take a few shots, uh, see how it performs. It's really weird pulling that back with these limbs on it because these are a 40 pound limb. Um, it's just, I'm used to shooting this with the 45s. <laughs> Overall, very nice. Uh, no hand shock, quiet, and performs well from what I can tell. Very nice gripping, a little bit to the left. Uh, we'll walk down there and look at that in a minute, but this bow is shooting nice. Um, that limb swap is, is perfect on this. Wow, that is just, 
I like that. I like the setup. Now I'm curious how the other's going to perform, so let's go get the ghost and take some shots with that. Okay, so now we have the ghost take down longbow riser with the recurve limbs from the Spider XL. I really like the way this looks, and I'm probably going to keep these set up this way uh, and just do some fine tuning with them as far as the brace height goes. But overall, man, <laughs> I'm just really impressed with this. it in a little bit. I'll take one more and we'll walk down to the target and look at them and just kind of see. Yeah, overall not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so this is the group of shots I, I did with the Spider XL and the longbow limbs. As you can see, very nice tight grouping here. This one's a little bit scattered. Um, it's still pretty good from the uh, Ghost takedown longbow with the recurve limbs. Overall, both of them perform pretty well. Um, I do like these though, these new QAD knocks. Um, I do like those. Man, those are night and day difference from the normal knocks that I, I typically just leave on my arrows. But again, both of these bows shoot really well with the limb swap and I have no complaints with it at all. Well, there is the definitive answer for the comments that I got about this Spider XL bow. Yes, you can do a limb swap on these and yes, it does perform well. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief little video. Uh, it's fun to get out here and shoot. I'm gonna stay out for a little while and, and continue to shoot uh, on my day off here and, and you know fine tune both of these bows to shoot how I want them to. But I mean, the groupings weren't bad from 10 yards, so I, I can't really complain. Uh, but again, I think the, the uh, Ghost Riser with the, with the recurve limbs needs a little bit of tweaking, so I'm gonna do that as well. But again, I hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoyed making this, and it's really cool to be able to, you know, customize, if you will, or change out your bow. And the cool thing about it is if you go on Southwest Archery's website, you can purchase all the limbs uh, for either setup, or if you like me and you've got both or two different risers from them and you want to just try out some different limbs, absolutely go for it. It's a great little change, and I think I'm going to leave it like this because the aesthetics just look really nice with this. I'm pleased. I'm happy with it. <clears throat> So again, thank you for coming by today. I really appreciate it. Uh, to all my new subscribers, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch my content and think enough of it to subscribe to my channel. And if you're new, uh, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, hit the notifications bell. That way when I post future content, you can come in and hang out with me for a little while. And we'll just learn and grow together because that's what this community is about, helping each other get better and better as we go along on our journey. So I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving coming up. I hope you get to spend time with family and friends and just have some downtime from the craziness of the world right now because it is a crazy place to live. But I thank you. I appreciate it. And it's always my hope that you have a great day, a better day tomorrow, and a wonderful week ahead of you. And until next time.